Hey gang, Uncle Todd and Sonny here, and we're going to take a look at episode 4 of the third season of Resident Alien. Uh, we opened up five years previously, where Dr. Beasley, who we learned about last episode, is talking over dinner plans with her husband while they uh, go to their prospective labs. His lab explodes, and she sees him doing or having an alien thing do something to his body and then we cut to the credits and we're back in present time where Darcy, Asta, and Harry are waiting for the processor to return to collect the paperwork she left Harry make sure he signed it. Uh, she shows up and is surprised to see she's not in human form. She was supposed to be in human form when she came through the portal, but the portal's been acting up. And anyways, she just needs paperwork and they get everything processed and Harry can uh, get going. Darcy sabotages the portal by throwing a banana into it. And so now Heather is stuck there until it can be repaired. So she goes to the bathroom, comes out as a human. Uh, there's a funny bit of exchange between her and Darcy when Darcy goes, Oh, Heather! <laughs> Rhymes with feather! I get it! And Heather's like, yeah, I didn't really understand human language when I picked the name. <laughs> anyway. Uh, While well, discussing things over with uh, Asta and Darcy, and they get a little legal help from one of their friends, Harry is talked into countersuing the Greys, which you can do. And Heather, who's now staying at a hotel, uh, when he uh, talks to her, tells him that, well, it's a lot of paperwork, but it's your right. And then they talk about, oh, their home planets. Oh, is not so great. And the things they miss. And Harry likes having another alien he can talk to. Joshua wasn't it. And Harry's starting to feel a little something towards Heather. And so doesn't like this because he needs to focus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Sheriff Mike and Liv uh, head up to the uh, out of the way cabin that Dr. Beasley lives in. And uh, they tell her that she, they were friends of the alien tracker. And she's not sure she believes them. She asks for his key. And Sheriff Mike hands her a, um, the key to the van. And she says, you know, if you were really friends of his, he'd have given you the key. And throws them out. So they go back to the van and they search and they find under uh, in the back under uh, the uh, lining. This is the one time when Sheriff Mike actually has real information when he's talking about the lining and how that doesn't come standard with that truck. His brother-in-law used to have a truck like that. And so they pull it up or I should say lift pulls up and they find a locked compartment odd looking keyhole. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile Darcy runs into her old boyfriend Elliot and he's moved on. He has a new girlfriend. And this was uh, they were dating back last season when Darcy was uh, having her problem with painkillers and they broke up over it. Uh, Meanwhile, Harry goes to the military base, the underground bunker, and he tells them what he found. And, well, the military, they were all for just um, setting up a strike force and just going in and wiping them out. And Harry has to explain, yeah, you'd get two feet, they would immobilize all of you, and then, whack, and then just lay waste to everyone. That's the kind of technology they have. He needs time to figure out what their overall plan is and how they're planning to you know what they're doing uh, General White gives him one week okay uh, Asta finds that her daughter Jay is trying to write an essay on about her family problem is Asta's adopted Jay is adopted she doesn't have any real family well, there just happens to be a wedding celebration uh, at the reservation uh, of their family, from 
their tribe and well Jay should go along with them and she reluctantly agrees uh, while there they learn that Asta learns that uh, Mike and Liv know where the van is because no tribe and uh, she tries to call Harry but uh, Harry's unavailable Harry uh, is talking to Heather and he learns before he could tell her how he feels she really just wants to be friends he's they're different species it would never work you know but as friends and Harry's like oh yes of course yes friends well he's very distraught and <laughs> <laughs> we have this hilarious scene where he's dealing with the portal repairman <laughs> who is very talkative. <laughs> and Darcy comes in because Asta's not available, so she's going to talk to Harry about the problem of seeing Elliot with someone. And she's, she's upset, but she's happy that he's really happy, but she's sad because she couldn't make him happy. And Harry's like, I don't want to know all this. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> It will be important later. Uh, Kate has been drawing, saying she's making a children's book. Uh, she doesn't want to show Ben pictures, but Ben finally grabs a peek, and it is some horrifying images with Al. She says, "No, no, no, no! It's just you know, it's about an Al family, and and she's feeding the children. These are entrails. No, 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 no!" And then Mike. Max comes up, takes a look, and runs away screaming in horror. Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, General Wright learns that their top man on the Darwin Project, Anderson, is quitting. They don't have anyone else. Well, there was one person. Uh, I don't know if you people remember Logan, but he was the one who had been dealing with the project, and then they were Right was going to kill him because, uh, you know, it's the whole uh, looking for the alien thing and, you know, cover up loose ends, but then she, uh, she had to depend on him and she eventually let him leave the service. Well, she finds him at his yoga class and basically intimidates him to rejoining. Linda Hamilton's very good at being intimidating, I gotta tell you. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, while working on their board at the police station and using magnets, uh, Mike finds that uh, one of the magnets Liv gave him is the disc, and it's extremely magnetic. He can't, he has trouble pulling it off, and it pops open. And there's an interesting looking uh, design on the inside. Where'd you get the disc? Well, I found it attached to a table leg. What table? Well, the one over there where the missing Deputy Joseph had been going through the tran the disappearing transit uh, stuff. So they pull up the video that they keep, uh, what goes on in the station, and they find that, yes, that disc did come from the bag, and that Joshua had uh, slipped the phone of the uh, alien tracker's son into his pocket. That means he knows everybody he called, including Dr. Beasley. So they rush back to her cabin, but too late. So their next step, they take the magnet to the van. And it indeed is the key for that compartment where they find a diary. Uh, well, uh, Ben talks to Kate at the dinner table about the pictures and she realizes yes, uh, she says there's nothing wrong with her and then he shows her one and she's like, oh my god, something's wrong with me. And Max pipes up, well you know, I saw a documentary about how uh, people that see owls are really, uh, it's really about alien abductions. Well, that's ridiculous. You know, but then Kate starts to think about it and she's starting to research about owls and alien abductions. 
Meanwhile, Harry, who's finally come to terms with uh, just being Heather's friend and realizes what Marcy was saying can also apply to him. And so he makes Heather a nest and leaves it at her hotel room, which so charms her. She shows up at his cabin where she tries to fly into the window, but like a, like a bird, bam, hits the glass and falls down. But Harry helps her up, and in their true forms, you know. Sex. Anyway, uh, after that, uh, we finally learn what Project Darwin is. She showed Log right is showing Logan everything, and we see that it is a Iron Man type suit, exoskeleton, made to enhance strength and speed, so you can duke it out with aliens. And that the proposed person they have it to put in that suit is not Logan, because he doesn't want to do it anyways. It's the alien tracker who's still alive but in a coma. What better type of person to have than someone who can actually see aliens? Wow. Okay, that I did not expect. I didn't think Der Terry O'Quinn would still be on the show. But of course, he's still got a son to rescue again. Really good episode. I'm loving the uh, romantic relationship between... Uh, Heather and Harry and it's, they work so well off each other and you know, when they get into alien mode <laughs> and they're just talking in what for us would be gibberish but it, to them it is the most beautiful language in all the universe <laughs> but it was, episode's really getting some serious things in here I, uh, you know the alien tracker being alive the exosuit, Kate's nightmares, and, and then the owl drawings. Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. Can't wait to see what's in that diary that uh, Liv and uh, Sheriff Mike found. So, another great episode, and uh, another great ending. Yeah. Can't wait for next week. So, uh, till then, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.